you're an able-bodied woman, getting up, taking care of your family, going to work, and just doing your what you do every day, and all of a sudden, the whole slate has been wiped, and you have to find a new way of living. What is life really about? The little things that people take for granted when you're able-bodied. Trying to find an accessible parking spot. Trying to get into a building that's, um, now you have to phone ahead, you have to plan everything. Nothing is spontaneous anymore. When so much has been taken away from you, and being able to get up and enjoying the beautiful warm sunshine and you know just being out of that hospital bed and my son when this all happened to me he was 19 at the time and he had come out in ICU and said to me mom he goes I know what happened to you is horrible and I know you lost to you see your legs but I still have my mom and those words have all you know held, held it together for me before the injury we lived pretty fast-paced life, I did anyway, and you realize after something is taken away what's most important in life. And it's not all the material things. It's not about rushing from one place to another. People will come up to me and they'll complain about the silliest things. I don't mean to minimize their complaints, but something is so, I had such a difficult day, there was so much traffic, and oh, I'm so stressed. And I, and I just look at them, I said, yes. I said, a lot of traffic in Toronto, isn't there? Yes. But did you get to your destination? Yes. And did you get there safely? Yes. I'll say, well, that's what's important. I'm sitting here feeling muscle spasms. I'm in a lot of pain. I don't demonstrate it because I've just suppressed it and I don't allow pain to control my life. I, I know it's there, I acknowledge it, but you're not controlling my life. So you're, I'm going to continue doing what I have to do even though it's painful because I just don't focus on the negativity anymore. I just try to see all the great stuff that's out there. I never thought I would say this and but I absolutely love who I am today more than I did seven and a half years ago. I, um, I appreciate life so much more. I value friendships a lot more than I ever used to. My personal vision would be to continue moving forward, to become as independent as I can, Shortly after this happened to me, I started um, an organization called Louise Rousseau uh, WAVE, which stands for Working Against Violence Every Day. And um, the reason I wanted to do that was I often thought of what makes an individual turn their life and go down the wrong path. What I would like young people to know is with our um, is to really believe in yourself no matter what challenges lie ahead and we don't know the path that our life is going to take we 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 can plan as much as we want but we sometimes things just don't go along that path and and when when that happens what do you do with your life do you do you give up and do you get frustrated and you become angry do you become bitter or do you look and say it is what it is and let me deal with it the best I can. So my message to young people is it, it starts in here, it starts with you and you start, you need to believe in yourself to become, to be able to cope and to deal with whatever is presented in front of you. What happened to me, if it had happened to any, it could have happened to anyone, but you do what you have to do. You have children to take care of. You have family that loves you. And, and I mean, you know, and friends, uh, good friends. How do you give up on all that? You need to do what you can with what you have and be able to move forward. You can make the difference in your own life and in the life of others to really find a deep level of peace 
and an appreciation of life has been truly a gift. Listen to your heartbeat. It starts here. The change starts here.